My name is Peter Black. I'm curator of prints at the Hunterian, and I'm the organiser of the exhibition The German Revolution Expressions Prints. The exhibition came about partly because we were looking for uh, something with which to commemorate the end of the First World War. Partly it was a way of demonstrating the great strength of the Hunterian's collection of express German Expressionist prints. Um, the artists in Germany in this period, around um, 1918, 1919, had a truly revolutionary approach to um, the use of woodcut, especially in printmaking. The story of the exhibition is twofold. Um, it's a play on words. Um, the, the German Revolution refers to the political instability that um, followed the, the end of the war in, in Berlin and other cities in Germany. Um, the end of the war didn't bring peace, but it brought revolution with street fighting. At the same time, it's a play on words because German artists of this period had a revolutionary approach to um, printmaking. They had a refreshing disregard for the traditional methods and techniques. They handmade their prints themselves um, and this helped them commercially in the production of images that were controversial. They were going against the, the trend. The dominant style was Impressionism um, and they were working towards something that incorporated um, what they regarded as authentic expression. This is um, a print called La Camagnole um, by um, Kate Kolwitz. This is a print that she made in 1901 um, and it is really a, a call for revolution. La Carmagnole is a song that was um, sung um, in the French Revolution. It's, um, it appears as a, an image in Dickens's novel A Tale of Two Cities. In fact, Kate Kolwitz sets it among the slums of a, a poor area in the, in the German city of Hamburg, but nonetheless, um, the, the guillotine with a stream of blood flowing through, through the crowd of dancing women um, draws attention to the, the, the terrible situation in which the, the citizens of Germany found themselves at this time, a, a real call for revolution. The exhibition was an opportunity to get together with um, academic colleagues. Um, I worked with Ernest Schonfield in German and with Debbie Luer and Sabine Weber in art history. Um, and we worked together on the selection um, in order to um, create an exhibition that was well informed um, culturally and art historically and which they have been able to use in their teaching in the university um, using the magnificent prints in our collection.